Welcome back to part two of the introduction and explanation of the Bricklayers mod. I'm lucky in that the maker of the mod Tells is introducing me and coaching me in how the mod works. In this episode we're going to deal with coloured clays, porcelains, glass, glazes and patterns. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, let's go over and see how we make the colored clay and the porcelain. Okay. I'm loving this. So here is the, the, the glazing workshop, as I call it. And we got lots and lots of colored ingredients here on this side of the wall. Oh my goodness. And so basically you need cinnabar. all of them. And you powder it in a quern or in a pulverizer? It's always first crushing it in a pulverizer, then you get the crushed ingredients. Yeah. And some of them can be used as is for like for colored clays. You can often use um, crushed uh, yeah. things or for making glass because it's coarse. And then you put it in a quern and powder it. And then you get actually two powders out of each crushed item. And right. the powders are then used for colored clay and porcelain. Okay, so you've got powdered bauxite, powdered limonite, powdered malachite, powdered lapis lazuli, powdered vir viridian. I've never even heard of viridian. What is viridian? Uh, viridian is actually chromite. That's uh, ah. when you heat it up, so it gets it turns a bright green color. Wow. Well, and yeah. here's a here's a special one. That's um, that's lead oxide. It's pinkish, purplish, brownish powder. You, this lead oxide, yes, I see it. Oh, it looks. Like, uh, you get that it looks if like you heat skin. Yeah, go on. Yeah, it does. It does a little bit, and this under this light thing. Um, uh, if you heat lead oxide, um, uh, sorry, if you heat powdered galena. Uh, which I have here in this chest over the fireplace, um, and you get lead oxide. Right. Okay. And if you heat lead oxide again, lead oxide is basically a mixture of, of a red and a yellow powder uh, form, so that's why it has this weird kind of in-between color. Right. And if you heat it and put it in a, in a fire, let me take out the bones here and put it in, Put some coal in, then you get actually a colored variant of red oxide. Oh, wow. Powdered massicot. Good grief. Yes, and massico or massicot, I'm not actually sure if the T is silent. Uh, that's a bright yellow one. Wow. Yeah. What and is... if you heat it again, you get you get a red color. Um, that's called Litage or Litage. Right. Litage, I'm not, not sure. And so you can, you know, you can use many processes like refining and heating and powdering to get yeah. all the different colors. Wow. What, I've got a chest here that says raw frit for sintering. I have no yes. idea what frit is and I have no idea what sintering is. Oh, okay. Let me explain it to you. The um, so we made all these, you know, these dry powders here, and you can mix them together with clay, and then you get colored clay. Yeah. And you can, um, if you have, for instance, here, you got uh, powdered quartz and lime and borax and bone ash, and bone ash is used for porcelain. Yeah. Um, but frit is. It's also a powder, and frit is basically a um, colored glass mixture. Oh. It's made uh, made out of uh, different dry ingredients, and it's used to make colored glass and glazings. Right. Okay. Um, let's look at the, the handbook, and let's see if we can just make one of the simple ones. Oh, let me let's see. Make... So I can put frit. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, here we are. Oh, I see. Frit Mix Blue. I see. So all this is in the handbook and it's explained. Fritz are a glass-like powder used to create coloured ceramic glazes or glass. 
they're sold by glass traders. Wow. Yes. The glass, there are two new traders with the mod, the glass and the pottery trader, and they can be found out through the world and they sell and buy a few of the, the new items. So when um, you add the mod, you add two new traders to your world. Right. They will only appear in new um, areas. They won't appear in, in old areas. Yeah. But they will sometimes spawn in. Some of them have even their own little wagons, and some of them spawn in the normal wagons. Tells, this is one of the biggest mods I've ever come across. I mean, this is this is like a a, a game annex. It's it's not just a mod. This is absolutely extraordinary. And you've written all this. Uh, yes. Wow. It's fantastic. It was mostly uh, mostly its textures and um, you know graphics and item definitions. So. Right. Okay. So we okay, make so, colored clay. Yeah, and uh, you can mix colored. Um, you can mix these ingredients together to make frit. Yeah. Um, we can make some if you want, or we can just, uh, you know, uh, can just explain Let's what you do with just the frit. Give me some stuff and let me make it. Let me have a look at it. Okay. I'm just fascinated by the whole thing. I had no idea of the complexity of this mod. I suspect though that once you get this mod, it could be all time consuming, but also gathering the materials must take a phenomenal amount of time. Yes, it is. Select any color you want. Um, the malachite color, that beautiful uh, blue. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, do you want to take the, the things out of, or should I just give them to you? Just give them to me, I'll be fine, because you know what you're doing with them. I'm actually, I actually need to... Um... Uh, so that's um, malachite, lime, uh, powdered quartz, and borax. Wow. Um, malachite, uh, lime. Okay, so I have malachite. Malachite. And you can use. Um, uh, you can usually use lead or borax. So right. Um, and you need the powdered quartz. Got it. And what's the other one? Lime. Oh, lime is here. Yeah. Right. These are all materials that I'm used to anyway. And then I've got four different materials. What do I do with them? Um, you put them into your grafting grid and the pattern is always the same. Uh, for every frit mix, I made sure that only the coloring uh, just um, changes. So you put the powdered quartz at the bottom with the powdered borax. Yes. And you put uh, the lime and the blue at the top. Right. And then it's lime, malachite lime for that one. Uh, lime, malachite. And then do I need... Lime on both sides? Uh, yes. And the, the bottom row is powdered quartz, powdered quartz, and then borax. P ah. Powdered quartz, powdered quartz. I'm getting it. Borax, right? And then it right. should be lime, powdered malachite. Yes. And that gives me a frit mix. Ah. I'll make some of it. Makes eight for it. Yeah, I've made eight. Wonderful. So the recipe has always the same structure. The top two, uh, top right positions are the coloring, and the other four are always the same. So it's hopefully a little bit easier to remember. Understood. You know, yeah, you... yeah, yeah. Once you get used to it. 
Right, and you can always swap the borax for the lead, depending on what you have more, so right. you have some options. And what do you do with the frit? Uh, you actually sinter it, and sintering is, in Vintage Story, you put it in a campfire with some fuel, and it fuses the, the little powder thingies together, it gives you um, um, a bit. Uh, it's called baked frit. I've got it. Okay, well, we don't need to make any. I mean, you've shown me what to do. So once yeah, you've got true. the frit, basically, you just cook it in a fire. Yes, and when you've got the baked frit, then it's basically, you know, half fused together, and then you put it in a quern and uh, grind it again, so you get the um, really fine glass powder that right. you need to color things. Got it. Wow. We put away these things. Yes. Hmm. So making frit is is a little bit time consuming because it's um, you need to have these three steps and it consumes fuel. So I'll be prepared to use a lot of fuel in all these processes. Yeah, yeah, a lot of everything in these processes, I think. And that's that's true. And is this what you then make? What do you make out of frit? Okay, frit is, it's a glass color. So you can make two things. You can make colored glass. Yes. Which is, um, uh, that's called a glass batch, which you make. I'll, I'll just give you some so you can have a look in the, in the handbook. Oops, I picked it up again. Yeah, a violet go. glass batch. And so four pieces, right, they smelt into one violet glass. Wow. So, if you look up the, the recipe... What, what, um, what do you smelt it in? A, a fireplace? A fire? In a, in a bloomery. You put them in a bloomery. Oh, you put them in the bloomery. Right. Okay. Just like, just like normal vanilla glass, you put the glass batch in the, in the bloomery. Oh, right. Okay. And frit is just one component of a glass batch because it's quite expensive. You know, to make a glass batch, you then use cheaper ingredients like um, sand, and um, powdered quartz and lime again, yeah. and then just to frit. So it's not, you know, um, it's not that expensive to make green or blue glass out of these. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And if you look at the glass batch chest, you see they come in. Well, every color you see here is a glass color. You can make almost every um, every color into their own glass color. Yeah, yeah. So yellow, blue, black, violet, brown, orange, milky, beautiful. Wow. Yes, and um, apart from the, the color um, variations, um, there are also different types that are not in vanilla. Uh, you get new colors. You get like um, orange and black glass. You also oh. get um, different types. Okay, milky right. or dark glass yes yes i see it oh wow dark blue uh, yes i can see all the different colors oh that's lovely wow my goodness me yeah let me show you some some of the glass colors and there yeah. is opaque glass Ooh. you can actually build a uh, build a cellar out of these they they are almost light um they are opaque basically right, they leave right. very little light through and you get new colors like black glass yes oh ho, ho, ho. you get milky um, <laughs> and you can also have dark blue which is you know, different than than the normal blue ah oh, fantastic this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous That's that's one thing you make with the frit. You make a glass batch, and then maybe you want to make like a milky glass batch, and then you smelt it in a in a bloomery, and you get the glass blocks, which you can then. Oh, I need to show you this one. Uh, you can with the mod. You can have these glass blocks. Yes. And you can take a chisel and you can chisel them. Oh wow. So that's chiseled glass. Wow. You can combine them as if you want and make Absolutely. pictures out of yes, them. Yes, yes. 
Uh, I visited Moon and did a video of her amazing build. And I presume that this is what she was using. Yes, I think so. Yeah, because she had a whole chiseled glass screen, which was phenomenal. Right, and that's how you make it. You first make frit, then you make colored glass, and then you um, color glass batch, then you smelt it into glass, and then you can chisel and combine it as wow. if you like. Gosh, high-end okay, stuff. Let's, let's clean that up. And you can, of course, recycle all the glass, you know, back into the glass patch if you if you made the wrong thing and or you have some glass box smelted like blue glass, but you yeah. didn't like the blue glass, you can recycle it back into blue glass batch okay. and make maybe dark blue glass. Lovely. That's more. Wonderful. So right. these planters are made out of clay. You just take um, the um, colored clay. Yes, and now depending, you can make uh, two things. You can make them out of colored clay. I don't have any here, actually. Um, do I have some? You had some red clay. Yeah, uh, do I have a red planter? That's the question. No, I don't actually have. Um, not inside here. We, we need to go outside. We got uh, a few of these. Yeah. Okay. Oh my. Um, oh my. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, look at that. And look at the bowls. This is most beautiful. of these are glazed. Um, but the yellow one here is made just from clay. It's not glazed. You can just make things out of yellow or red clay if you want. Mm. You can also make the vessels of clay or porcelain. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Right. I, I am just amazed at the colour this adds to Vintage Story. Because Vintage Story has uh, quite a, a limited colour palette in a way. Um, there are lots of flower colours. But when it comes to bricks and woods, it's still early in the game's development and we don't have a huge range of colours. But this is just phenomenal. Absolutely right. phenomenal. Yes, I, I love the colours too and that's why I added so many of them. Yeah. You can have you know, more options for decorating things. Yeah. So presumably you, these far clay uh, coloured storage vessels they're just straight far clay, but you can only make them that color in the brick, if you have the brick layers mod, yes? Right, right. In vanilla, they just turn brown. In brick layers, they get the fire clay color or green. Here's a malachite one here at the, at the corner. That's made from malachite clay. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I am loving this. Okay, so we have right. covered the fact that you can do different blocks, you can do tiles, you can do much smaller block, brick blocks. We've covered the fact that you can make the most wonderful coloured clays, you can make different dyes, you can make different glass. I hesitate to ask, is there anything else? Oh, yes. <laughs> there is the glazing things and uh, the patterns you can then do on, on glazed things. Oh my word, show me those. All right, so for a glazing, um, do we have an empty barrel here somewhere? They seem to be all full. It's like... Oh, there's one on oh, the Here's end. an empty. Yeah. Uh, let's put in some water. Let me do that for you. Yeah. I'm so slushy. Okay. Yeah. So for a glazing, you always start with a clay slurry, and that is just you put some clay into a barrel of water. Here, I give you I give you that. Right. So yeah. you just pop this, and is it fifty? Yeah, it's fifty. It's one yeah. to one. Yeah. Okay. 
okay so you put that in and you get 50 liters of clay slurry okay right and now you need to decide whether you want to make a clear glazing which has brighter more vibrant colors or if you want to make a milky glazing which has more you know um like a milky appearance if it's glazed that's oh. what you need to decide first let's make a clear one all right and a clear glazing is just you put powdered quartz into the barrel let me give you that yeah. okay and is that again it's one-to-one -one? uh it's actually one-to-one -one, yes right okay so you put 50 right 50 liters of clear glazing base right right and now you can just mix in the frit of your color um, of the choice you know of the color you choose oh, right so i would look at um, we got here uh, the ground frit on top i prepared a few of them choose any color you want um can we choose the malachite sure sure so and it's also one to one so you need to have 50 of these okay I can get 50. I'm going to have to give you so much material back. <laughs> right, so you have 50 of that. Okay. Right, pop that in. Ah, we'll turn into 50 litres of glazing after two days of sealing. Wow, shall I seal it? I, yeah, just go ahead and seal it. Wow. You always can use malachite um, glazing. It needs to sit for for two days to just you know settle yes. in. Understood. Understood. Okay. So let's pretend we waited two days and we already made some uh, of the colors. Right. Uh, we got here uh, different ones in in different barrels. Can I just give you my sure. access? Um, I I just don't want to walk off with all this gorgeous stuff. No, I do want to walk off with all this gorgeous stuff, but I'm not going to. You can take whatever you want if you, no, if no, you want. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just put that away because my inventory is also... Okay, so let's pretend we already made some glazing. Yes. Um, uh, there is, over here is milky lapis and milky red. Oh, milky red, I think. Okay, then let's use milky red. Uh, let's make a milky red planter. Uh, you can glaze bowls and planters and flower pots. Um, okay. If you want to make something different, just tell me. Uh, you can't glaze um, storage vessels yet. Okay. It's not, not a thing. Okay, but planters, flower pots and bowls. Right. Sounds perfect. And and max, you can actually do max in in brick layers, and you can drink out of them, and you can glaze them. So, oh wow! So mugs as well. Whoa, nice. I forgot to mention that. So you, we now have mugs in the game. Yes, I see it. Yeah. Clay mugs, and they are different from the little flower pots, aren't they? Very yeah. nice tells. Very nice. Um. So let's glaze a let's glaze a bowl. I think. Yeah. Um. Because the bowls, they have a, a thing. Let's do four of them. They have a thing that I need to show you because that's something important. Okay. I have the four bowls. What do I do with them? If you, uh, if you go over to this, uh, where is the, the red glazing a barrel and you open it so that you look inside. Oh. You see this little input slot? Um, hang on. I have just, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I've yeah, just that, managed that to happened. fill my bowl. Um, right. How do I? End? That's the that's the that's the problem with one point sixteen that it fills your bowl and um, no, I, can't I think if it. you left click on the slot with the bowl, it empties it again. Let's hope so.
Oh, it's right. Yes. Yes. Right click. Okay. And to put bowls and anything that, that can take uh, a liquid like the marks out of, uh, into the barrel, you need to open the barrel, open your inventory yeah. and then shift click the bowl into the barrel. Just shift left click on, on the empty yes. bowls. Yes. yes. And it will turn into four bowls after two hours of sealing. Should I seal it? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. So it's that simple. Yes. Perfect. And once you once you've glazed them, you need to fire them in a pit kiln again to, you know, burn in the glazing. Right. Actually. So you, then you refire them. Right. Yes. That's all doable. Fantastic. Okay. Wow. And there's only one more thing and that's making patterns on glazed okay. pottery. Okay. Are you ready for that? I am. Okay, then let's grab uh Let's grab a glazed planter here. Yes. This is a malachite planter. Yes. And it's glazed. Yes. And there's actually two more things. Oh, I forgot. Right. Let's let's make the patterns first. Okay. Um, to make a pattern, there are actually two only in um, in the mod. To make this little pattern mold here, let me set it down for Ooh, you. Oh, I see. Yes. Just make it from clay. Yeah. And uh, if you pick that up, let me get you some beeswax. Yeah. Uh, combine the pattern with the beeswax. It will make a waxed pattern. No. Do I put the beeswax over it? Uh, on yes. top, yeah. Got it, yeah. Oh, I see. Yes, a waxed pattern. Yep. Right. And then you need, at the moment, it's always um, clear brown glazing. Do we have some here? Yeah. Nope, we have. We have some. We should have some here. Clear brown glazing. Uh, you need a bucket and get some clear brown glazing. Let me give you the bucket, please. Yeah. Oh, oops. Yep, I have it. Um, and if you put the bucket on top of the pattern, it should fill it with the color. Right. I have that. Yep, so I've got that. Yep. So you got a colored pattern brown um, yes, checker, I guess. I do, yes. So then let's get the, the planter. If you put the planter and the pattern in your grid. Next to each other. Um, I think it's next to each other. Or on top, I forgot. Yes. On off. Yes, that's right. Wonderful. <laughs> and if you fire that in a pit kiln, oh. it, will, it will burn in. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Now I know why you were looking for patterns for this mod, because we ran a whole competition, didn't we, for patterns and shapes? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And I need to add them so you can put them on planters and things. Yeah, I mean, we've got some fabulous patterns. Yeah. And one more trick, if you don't like the pattern and you haven't yet burned it in, you can wash it off with lime water oh, and put I, a different one. I love it. We should leave it. We should leave it. That's fabulous. Okay. And there's one more thing yeah. that uh, that's rather new and that's why I forgot. Let's take this planter here. Yes. And let's see, what do we have? Oh yeah, we have here salt glazing in the first barrel. Uh, that's a very simple one. So if you don't have uh, all these powders, all these materials, all the time to make frit and fuel, you can use salt and salt and copper to glaze things in a more simple way. Ah, and how does uh, it, what does it look like when you've glazed it? Uh, let me see, do we have an empty barrel? We do have an empty barrel. Let's, let's do it with this one here. Uh, where's the bucket? Uh, here. Let's put in some water. Yeah. And then you just take some salt. 
and you make uh, make brine out of it. I think it's one one salt to to one liter of water. All right. No, that means twenty of salt, isn't it? Uh, maybe it's uh, ten to twenty. Yeah, I think it might be ten to twenty. Yeah, twenty liters of brine. Shall I seal that? Right. Yeah. No. 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 Do you don't need to seal that? And okay. if you put again uh, ten salt into it, it should turn into salt glazing. So you put another ten salt in. Yeah. And not twenty. No, I think that's an. It's probably twenty. Yeah. Yeah, 20 litres of salt glaze. Wonderful. Perfect. Um, then here, let me give you a planter that, that you can just put into the barrel and then you will see how it looks like. Yeah, it will turn into one raw salt glaze planter after two hours of sealing. Then just seal it and then we'll do something different in the meantime. Okay. Wonderful. And here, let me give you another planter. Yes. And there's some beeswax here at the at the end. Yeah. Some beeswax. How many do I need? Uh, one, just one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then you combine the planter and the beeswax in your inventory, and I think it's the the, um, the planter on top and the beeswax at the bottom. Oh. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, that's nice, see, isn't it? You see, the the bottom part is now protected with wax, and if you yeah. pick that planter up and put it in a barrel, only the top part will get glazed. Oh. I understand. So the bottom just yes. Stays. Yes. Yes. No, I understand it. it. It's it's just so much like normal making porcelain in China, isn't it? Right, right. That was the idea that it, you know, yeah. that you just imagine how it should work. It doesn't work with every combination and every color. You can only, you know, the part um, glazing can only be done with salt glazing. Yeah copper but you can combine them with you know you can make a plant out of red clay right and then combine it with beeswax and then glaze only the top portion oh my goodness let's try it with that one and i've got a barrel here with copper glazing copper and copper glazing is just basically salt glazing with some uh, added copper powder and then it turns into this Funky copper, copper yeah. color. Yeah. Do you, me, do you want me to put the planter in here? Uh, let me do that for you. Yes, oh, no. please. Wow. And then you seal it, right? Uh, so the about, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. This raw glazed planter here, where we put the checkered pattern on, you said we yeah. re we refire it. Do we refire it in a pit kiln? Yes, always. Yeah. Always pottery needs to be fired in a pit kiln. So. No, I'm with you. Yes. Fantastic. Right. Gosh. So the, the salt glazing and the copper glazing has another little twist in it. If you fire the things with it once, you get a pale. Yes. Um, you get a pale color. It's like a little bit like skin or like pinkish. Yes. Orangish. And if you fire it again, it will get darker. You oh can just, um, right. um, let me see if I do have one of these. I have one that we could just use. Uh, actually, yeah, here's one. I'm just stealing this little flower pot here. <laughs> And I can show you how to how to fire it again to get a darker color. Yes. Show me, please. Need to get some straw. And this, oh gosh, oh these are your pit kilns. Right. 
And the pattern around the border, that's one of the beautiful patterns that MJ, Mama Jamba, made. And I do remember, yes, it was gorgeous. She made patterns for the contest too. Yeah. It's really, really good. I love she it. She makes seriously elegant things, doesn't she? Yeah. And these are the glazed brick tiles. Oh, look at the colours here. Oh, yes. my word. Wow. Yeah, you can glaze bricks. I, I think we didn't uh, we didn't actually mention that. But uh, apart from making stone bricks, you can also make glazed bricks, and then just use them in like any other yeah. uh, brick block you would use. Wow. Oh my goodness me! This is real end game stuff, though, isn't it? I mean, you need the amount yes. of uh, materials and time you need to get to the results you want. It's quite extraordinary. So you've made your pit kilns out of hardened clay. Yes. How very, very sophisticated. Wonderful, <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, here, let me give you this little flower pot and this, um, the, the grass or hay. Yeah. And if you combine them in the grid, basically put the, the grass on top of the planter or our pot. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yep. So I've got right, a, and a stuffed copper glazed flower pot now. Right, and if you put that in a pit kiln and fire it again, it will turn um, a darker color. Right. That's fabulous. I get the idea. We don't need to to do that. Yeah. Right. Wonderful. Just one more option for colors. Oh, perfect. There are so many options there. So many options. I mean, I suspect most people start with the bricks and the tiles and work upwards to all the clays, don't they? Yes, Gorgeous. I would say so. Yeah, yeah. The hardened clay is actually... No, hardened clay is rather easy to make. You just put eight of these in a fire pit and you get the block. Eight of what? Uh, eight colored clay. Got it. Sorry about that. And you can also use porcelain. If you just put the um, porcelain into a fire pit, then you just get a, a biscuit porcelain block. Right. Okay. Yeah, shut the door. Oh, this is finished. Oh, take it out then. Oh, my word. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. And if you fire it, uh, it will get a little bit darker. And then, if you like, you can stuff it and fire it again and get an orange colored plant. Wonderful. Oh, my goodness. The other one should be done, too. Yeah. Yes. This is so clever. I have a real question, though. Did you research all this? Oh, yes. There was lots of Wikipedia reading going on. I can't believe, because this to me all makes so much sense uh, from what I know about the pottery industry and how you make glazes and colours and different coloured glass and stuff like that. This all makes perfect sense. This seems very, very realistic to me. Yeah. I just had to, you know, simplify a few things because yes. it's a game and not oh, absolutely. don't have a um, plant, you know, yeah. and all the refineries and stuff. You just have a fire pit. Wow. That's... Oh, my goodness. My head is absolutely buzzing. I can't thank you enough for explaining all that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And Thank I, you for coming uh, and asking. Well, I didn't know what the mod was, but I do know now, and I know a little bit about how to work it, and I know that it's all lined up in the help section. But I believe that anyone who went through this, it's such a learning curve. 
and so fascinating. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Tells. Bye-bye. Goodbye, and thank you.